What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video actually has nothing to do with iPhones, but more so of Apple as a company. Now here's the thing that happened, okay? A couple weeks, I think it was like a week or two ago, we heard stories in basically this report that contractors were basically listening to private conversations or private Siri conversations in order to better enhance Siri and I guess remove accidental triggers, things like that. If you don't know what a contractor is, pretty much it's when like Apple, for example, they'll go and contract out some work to someone outside of Apple. And the reasons they do that sometimes, sometimes it's cost saving, sometimes they just don't want to handle like finding the right people to let a contractor or something else, someone else do that. And so that kind of makes sense, right? I mean, a lot of companies use this, not just Apple, that happens all the time. But for a specific situation like this, I mean, it was definitely a humongous privacy concern. We saw apparently, I guess, thousands of conversations were, you know, monitored and I guess listened through by people outside of Apple. So this was a huge privacy concern because I don't know why I got dark all of a sudden, but people have private conversations and sometimes with accidental triggers comes accidental things that you don't want to be heard by someone outside of your company. Now, this was an automatic feature that was already, I guess, opted in for everybody. So as soon as you get an iPhone, you basically have to opt out of that. Now, Apple has since fixed this whole entire situation. And I think this is where this problem is even worse, I think, in a way. I mean, I think it was kind of shady for them to do that in the beginning with. They should have never contracted out that work in the first place because, I mean, that's private information. Like, if I had a conversation with my iPhone and I'm like, hey, Siri, whatever, I'm tell my mom, what da 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 Dude, I'm dropping so many phones today. I don't feel comfortable by that conversation being listened to everybody. So I have that opportunity to opt out. So that's good, right? But also on top of that to the next level, if I do opt in, I don't want that conversation being heard by someone outside of that specific company. So I don't want that conversation being heard by somebody, just some random person outside of Apple because I know Apple security is pretty high. At least it should be. I don't know about this situation now, how Apple's public perception is going to be about security. But but before Apple's, you know, a super secure company. But now if they're contracting out that work, that contractor does not necessarily work for Apple. They work for, you know, company XYZ, for example. So they follow and adhere to those specific policies. And that's a super crazy thing. Like, I don't want my car. Like, it just kind of weirds me out in a way. And it kind of freaks me out too. But the situation that we're in now is I think even weirder. So they fixed the whole opt-in, opt-out thing. So you're automatically opted out of the, your conversations being, I guess, you know, listened to and improved by from Apple and their employees and their contractors. So that, that's a good thing in my opinion. So you have to opt into that specific service or that feature. But here's the other thing. Those contractors that they initially hired on for that specific position, they actually fired all those contractors. So that means that those people that they hired on before, they actually fired them after they got caught. And I think that's an even bigger situation. And I don't think it's a bigger problem than this one, but I think that's a super sad situation for those, like, I don't know how many employees, but however many employees they had, I think that's a super sad thing for that specific contractor and those employees because, you know, they're out of a job, you know, and it's not because they didn't adhere to the policies or whatever. It's just they got caught doing it. And it's not it's not like they were doing anything illegal or anything. The employees, I'm sure they were doing their jobs and they had a job to do. But Apple should have never hired those people to begin with. And that's where the problem is. You know, now all these people are out of their jobs. They have to go find another job all because Apple wanted to contract it out. You know, I think it's better. I think it would have been a better situation had they just hired internally and moved this internally in to begin with instead of having these contractors do the job because now those contractors, like I said, Maybe they're out of the job now because this contract is out. Who knows? But that's a super sad situation too. But I think this overall situation, I mean, it has a happy ending. But again, it's another one of those things where it's like they only fixed it because they got caught. Had Apple not had somebody say something like, this is Apple's doing this. They're hiring contractors or listening to random secret conversations between Siri and the end user in order to advance Siri. It's not even Apple employees. If nobody said that, then they probably would have still been doing it. And Apple's not the only company that does this kind of stuff. Tons of companies do it. But I think for a company that prides itself for a security and all those different things, I think it's kind of hypocritical for them to do that. I mean, I'm kind of salty about it, but at the same time, I'm like, I understand like companies sometimes need to save money. They need to contract out. That's okay. But you can't do that. And then also, you know, put up signs that says, oh my God, like what goes on your phone stays on your phone, whatever, because that's not necessarily the case. I mean, the Apple could be doing something. I don't know. This is my opinion, but there's a, probably some other huge company that's doing something like this too, or even worse, maybe even Apple, who knows? I'm, I'm not saying they are, but I'm just saying companies do crazy things all the time. And it's sad when they only fix it after they got caught. And now that they did get caught, all these contractors are out of work. And if they're still going out and saying, oh, we're the most secure this or that, I'm going to probably call them out for that because that's, I mean, in my opinion, like, are they really the most secure now? I mean, they let people outside of the Apple company listen to conversations that were had between me and Siri or you and Siri or whoever opted in and Siri. And they should have only been listened to by Apple employees. 
in that specific secure environment. It should have stayed within Apple. They let people outside of that company listen to those conversations. And, and in my opinion, not only is that kind of ins- insecure, but it's also like really, really weird. It makes me feel really uncomfortable too. So that's really it. I think Apple really kind of messed up here. <laughs> There's no really no good way of looking at this. I mean, they messed up and they had to fix it, but I think they only fixed it because they got caught. But man, that's this whole video is my opinion. If you have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.